Hey everybody, welcome back to another Slime Fun video here on the channel with your host Boomer today. We are, in addition to the announcement made this morning about starting live streamings on a regular basis, we're also going to work on a weekly recap of what changed in Slime Fun. The devs are just driving out new material so fast it's hard to keep up for someone who's on the Discord server, who's actually involved in testing some of the plugins and is getting to see a lot of behind the scenes stuff yet for everybody else it's nearly impossible i'm struggling just to keep up i've got notes all over my desk and so what i want to do is give you a brief synopsis of what took place during the course of the week and so let's go ahead and do that right now so in course slime fun to start with one of the things that was a bug that was fixed if you had an infused hopper that had items in it and you went to mine it you wouldn't get those items back well, now you do. So, great fix on that bug. The next thing I want to talk about, this has really been probably one of the big talks in the community was the new auto crafters, right? Everybody got these and there was pros and cons comparing this one to the old one. Well, first of all, huge hats off to Biscuit because he really got involved, listened to the community and made a lot of changes in a very short period of time. It started first that you could only do it in a chest. Well, that has now been evolved to where we can do it on a chest, on a trap chest, on a barrel, and on a shulker box like I'm going to show you in a minute. Additionally, besides that, a few other changes were made. It now works also in spigot. Now, every one of the devs is going to tell you you should be running paper. But if you are running spigot, it has now been added for spigot compatibility. A lot of error handling was improved. Additionally, they've now added smart filling for cargo nodes. And what this does, as I've, and I've featured a video on this, you can see this in a tips and trick channel. What it's supposed to do is keep no more than one stack of the item in the chest. In other words, it's supposed to help keep that chest from overflowing with raw materials because if one of the items run out when you're making a recipe, it's going to stop and fill up with everything else. And now you've got to clean up the mess. I've been running this on another server since it came out and I've only had one minor hiccup uh, and I was able to very quickly correct it. Um, one thing I did notice is that if you have two outputs of the same item going to the same chest, both with smart filling on, well then you can get two stacks of the item. Not the end of the world, chests have 27 slots. But what we're going to do is go ahead and show you how this works on a shulker box. So to start with, we're going to make some advanced circuit boards. I've got the basic stuff that we need in here. We'll go ahead and place down our auto crafter. We will shift click it, enable the recipe, and you'll see it is now working. Now the auto crafter apparently registers as a solid block because I cannot open my shulker. So we're going to go ahead and break the auto crafter off just to show you that it is working. Look at that. We're up to 50 of them now and we're almost done. So again, another very quick change. Really appreciate that we've got not just chests, but trap chests, barrels, and shulker boxes. The old auto crafters have now been removed, so they will no longer work. And literally, I'm gonna say within the last half hour, a new feature was added. And the way Biscuit wrote this code, it could be adapted to a lot of different machines. So we now have a new auto crafter for the auto anvil. And I have to armor auto crafter, there we go. So this is the auto auto crafter or armor forge. Place it on a chest, just like you did to start with. We are going to make slime boots. We've got our slime balls, iron ingots, shift click, lock in the recipe, and here we go. Now, because it's a chest, and apparently that one is not a solid block. I can see inside. But look at that. We're getting slime boots. Automated auto armor. Isn't that nice? You're on a server that, I don't know, goes through slime boots every five minutes. Well, now you can make millions of them. Uh, there was one other change, or I should say a bug fix inside of Core Slime Fun. There was another bug where if you place two crucibles down next to each other, they wouldn't work. Uh, that has now also since been changed. Moving on to some of the plugins, we're going to talk really today just about Infinity Expansions. 
Uh, Riley's done some uh, bug fixes as well as added a few new features. Inside of the quarries, normally they would only gather resources of the world you are in. Uh, in looking at the configuration file now, the config.yml, he's added a new line. It says quarry nether materials in overworld. And you either set it to false or true. Well, I've set mine to true. And now I have nether quartz. I have nether rack. I have netherite ingots. All in the overworld. Now, you can also set the difficulty as well. So I initially had set my quarry's difficulty to 1, which is the default. Just for the purpose of the video, I changed it to 0.1. And just to show you how fast it can fill up. See how much faster it runs when you lower that difficulty? That's why some people were kind of like, yeah, that's too OP and, and they're right. And that's why you have, as a server owner, the ability to go in and change that difficulty. And again, I would recommend starting at 1. In addition to that, Riley also added a new feature inside of the storage units. We now have what's called the void access option. What this will do is when this storage unit fills up, let's say I have 25,600 cobble, plus I've got my stack, you know, there, and I've got my stack over here. Well, what happens with the excess cobble? It backs up in your generators, right? If you enable the void excess by clicking on that glass pane, it's the same thing as sending it to a trash can. So this solves a lot of options that people were looking for, right? You wanted to make sure that you got as much of it as you could. And then because, for example, on the server I play in, I have 15 dust extractors running. If these were, let's say, tin dust and it filled up, eventually my 15 dust extractors would fill up with tin dust unless I hooked it up to a trash can. But then it was something I had to go back and do and adjust every time it filled up. Here, and by the way, when you have a trash can on, you've got it on Ron Robin, you're losing items that you might need along the way to get filled up, and eventually you might not have any. Here, the storage unit fills up 100%, and then the access goes right to the void, and all of your other dust extractors keep running. Really smart, really intuitive, really great feature. And for those of you who don't know, this was also added maybe just a little bit over a week ago, where now you can either add one item at a time, right? You cannot, well, you could already do that. You could simply just do this. You could drop in one. But now you have the ability to pull one item by left clicking, withdraw a stack by right clicking, and then you can also shift your entire inventory. In this case, if this were all uh, cobblestone, by shift left clicking, I can deposit everything. Shift right clicking, I can pull all the cobble out. You say, well, why doesn't this one come out? Because this one actually isn't in the unit, it's in the GUI. And there we go. So I can shift right click it all in. Well, I can't. Why? There's nothing in there. You got to have something in there to begin with. So once I've got one in, I can shift it all in. And apparently I just pulled the paint out again. Wow, I thought we had that fixed. Bummer! Riley, help me, buddy. All right. So anyways, guys, that's our updates for this week. Uh, next week, we're going to have a couple more coming. As you can see, I'm donning those wonderful slime boots we just made. Dynatech has some huge... Uh, changes that literally I just didn't have enough time to go through and put them all together. So we're going to feature those. And I still want to get the Foxy machines. There's a ton of new awesome items have been added as well as the updates to chicken engineering. Guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to go boomer or go home. We'll see you later. <laughs>